Congress had approved the measure to buy or build six frigates, and Secretary of War Henry Knox settled upon a Philadelphia shipbuilder named Joshua Humphreys to design the ships. It was agreed upon by both men that the nation required a specific type of ship to defend its shores. It is determined of importance to this country to take the lead in a class of ships not in use in Europe, which would be the only means of making our little navy of any importance. Humphreys had studied everything he could about ship design and architecture. His designs would seek to combine the strength of the ships of the line with the speed and maneuverability of European frigates. The new frigates were to be 175 feet at the waterline, larger than the European frigates, carrying larger cannon while not sacrificing speed. They are superior to any European frigate, and if others should be in the enemy's company, our frigates can always lead ahead and never be obliged to go into action, but on their own terms. The goal of the design of Humphreys frigates was to empower them in single ship-on-ship -ship action, but also to give them the ability to outsail any heavily cannoned ship of the line. While the Congress of 1794 only cared about responding to Algerian Corsairs, Humphreys intended his ships to be capable of engaging the European powers of the time if the need arose. President Washington approved the proposal for ships sent to him by Congress. He was also given a list of names to pick from for the ships. The first five frigates were the first five options on the list. United States, Constellation, Constitution, Congress, and President. The last was later named Chesapeake. In 1797, the first of the frigates, USS United States, was launched in Philadelphia. She would be followed by the Constellation and the Constitution a few months later.